Hi, this is Benjamin Evans with WebsiteSchool.com today to teach you how to optimize a web page. So, when optimizing a web page for the internet, for your website, for search engines, there's many different pieces to the puzzle that have to come together in order for it to perform the right way and rank and for search engines to understand what the page is about. So, we're going to detail each one of these pieces of the pie, basically, and uh, bring them together. One of the key ingredients of an optimized web page is the code. Is the code clean? Is the code dirty? Is the code clean means can the search engine go through the code easily and not get stuck? There's no errors. Um, one good thing to do is have your website validated with the W3C validator. Uh, make sure there's no errors in the code or the CSS, which is the second piece, the CSS, which is basically the design. It's a fast way for a browser to load your design in a fast way for a search engine spider to crawl through the page and understand what it's about without getting caught up in too much of the design work itself. We have metadata. The metadata is the first thing that spiders generally hit to get an understanding of what your website's about. The metadata is also used in organic search results for people to see on the page. Basically, when you do a search on Google or Yahoo, you see a search result, you see a blue page title, you see maybe some black text, which is the description, and you see a small uh, green link uh, underneath, which is the actual domain URL for the website. So that's your metadata. Uh, we have images that are involved in a page, video. Uh, the formatting of the page is very important for a couple of different reasons. Primarily, it's for the person who's actually taking the time to read the page you created. Because if you don't format a page properly and it's just a flat page, uh, basically the text is all the same color, it's all the same height, it's all formatted the same way, it's a pretty boring read and it's not going to be engaging for somebody to want to basically make it easy, you want to make it easy for them to read the website. Uh, we also have H tags on a page. The H tags are basically the headers, they're the title of the section. What is this section about? What is this paragraph about? Let me define that and give an H tag a header. So the search engine understands exactly what this specific section is about within the greater page. Quality original content is basically your main ingredient. It's the base to what we're here cooking with this optimized site. Uh, they say content is king, and that is very true because without the content on the website, nobody's going to link to you, um, and nobody's going to have anything to look at once they get there. So creating high quality original content is very important. You don't want to duplicate somebody else's content because it's already somewhere else. Let them have the ranking. Come up with your own stuff. Create original content and make it good. Uh, don't just put out a bunch of fluff, a bunch of 300, 400, 500 word articles. Take the time. Write something that's at least a thousand words in length and is important. It adds value to the internet. Whenever you're developing something for your website, always think back. Am I actually adding value to the internet? And if so, you're doing the right thing. If not, stop what you're doing because you're wasting your time and it's not going to make you any money. It's not going to bring you success. Uh, the speed of the page is also important as well because Google has to crawl so many pages a day, Yahoo has to crawl so many pages a day, they send their spiders out, crawl, 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 and if they hit a slow website, you're wasting their time. They're not going to be able to accomplish their quota for the day, so the spiders are going to leave. They're not going to go through your website, they're not going to index all your pages, they're not going to crawl all your pages. And on top of that, people who hit your website, they're going to leave because your page is taking too long. I mean, 0.3 milliseconds can make the difference between somebody waiting for your website to load or leaving the page. So page speed is something that's very important. There's a lot of tools out there that we'll discuss later in WordPress about caching your pages and static HTML pages, ways to make your page load faster. Uh, and then we also have your keyword target. Without a keyword, there's really no point in developing the page. Um, well, there's two different trains of thought with that. One is if you're ranking for keywords, you need to have a keyword target. If you're just ranking because you want to share your ideas and your thoughts with whoever, then that's great too. But having a keyword target is very important so you understand what the goal of the page is. What are you trying to inform people about? What, what is it? Is it domain development? Is it WordPress training? What is it? And we identify that ahead of time so that when we're creating all this other information, we know what images to pull, what relevant videos to pull because we have our keyword target. So those are the key elements of an optimized web page.